Okay, today we're doing a group test on some LED domestic lighting. <coughs> These LED bulbs all came from a website called banggood.com. You'll find links to all of these products in the description for this video. So let's just unbox all of these and see what we've got. Okay, we have four lamps. You may have seen that I've reviewed these corn cob lamps before and my opinion wasn't very high of them. But anyway, let's have a quick look at what we've got. These are a bit different to the ones I've seen before. So we've got some bayonet mount um, larger models. These have got, I believe, 69 LEDs surface mounted on what looks like actually heat sink um, material inside there and encapsulated in a hard plastic envelope. So there's two different varieties of that. There's a cool white and a warm white. And these are E14 Edison miniature screw bulbs. These have um, 36 LEDs similarly mounted and again inside a hard plastic envelope. And uh, again warm white, cool white I think. Anyway we'll see when we switch those on. But definitely two different sh shades of white. Let's have a look at the construction. So, they seem pretty solid actually. These seem like they're fairly well made. I can't find any obvious faults. They seem pretty solid. Later on, we're going to test these, but I need, need to wait until it gets dark before we can do that, and we'll test them in the dark so that we can see what kind of output we get from them. Okay, it's night time, so now we can put our LED bulbs through their paces. I'm actually going to test the bayonet ones first. So let's try putting them in this little reading lamp I've got here. We'll take the existing light bulb out and we will try the warm white first. Okay. Okay, and that's actually that's actually very nice and bright. Not a bad colour. Similar in shade to the warm white compact fluorescent that actually this room is illuminated with. It's probably worth noting at this point that obviously the camera isn't going to show you the perfect colour of this because it's got a white balance function and, um, and it's probably doing brightness adjustment and so on. So I'm going to have to tell you about my subjective judgments about this but hopefully that will be accurate enough. So I'm turning off the room lights now and that's actually quite a nice bright light. I can see, I'm, I'm looking at the screen on the back of the camera and I can see actually that the video might appear to be flickering but I can't perceive any noticeable flicker there by eye. So that's the, uh, that's the warm white. It's actually quite a nice bright light. So we'll try the cool white now. Well, this is actually the just called white. And it's definitely a noticeably different colour. It's a, it's a slightly bluer ice white sort of colour. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's quite as bright as the warm white. Let's turn off the room light and see what we get. The light itself, I would say, resembles daylight a little bit more than, um, than the warm white did. I don't know what it's going to be like for photographing things, but here's a... Let's have a look. There's a banana. I'm looking at the screen on the back of the camera. The colours do actually look quite realistic for me, so it looks like this one might be a light that my camera can actually cope with and treat almost as if it's daylight. Okay, so that was the test of the uh, of the two 69 LED bayonet fitting lights and I would say they're pretty good actually, they seem quite bright. I'd, I'm, I'd be happy to, r to light a small room with those. What I'm going to do a bit later on actually is I'm going to pl plug one of these in and leave it running for an hour because I, I noticed there are some tiny little holes in the top of the envelope there and what I want to test for is just to make sure this doesn't get really hot. So, um, so I'll, I'll try that a bit later on. So nextly, we've got to try these two smaller ones. These have got 36 LEDs and a small Edison screw. So I've actually got a light fitting in my living room that has three lamps. So I'm going to screw two of these in and we'll compare them against a compact fluorescent. Okay, so here we are. And in this ceiling fitting I've got one compact fluorescent here of that kind, that type. That's a uh, 9 watt compact fluorescent. I've got my warm white LED lamp in here and the 
plain white LED in here. So let's just do a quick comparison of brightness by eye and it's very clear to me that the cool white one is probably the brightest. Um, the warm white LED is brighter than the compact, compact fluorescent by a small margin I would say. So that's a 7 watt LED lamp is brighter than a 9 watt compact fluorescent assuming that the ratings that have all got written on them are correct. So let's take a closer look. I can see some flickering on the screen of the camera but actually again that's not evident to my eye even from the corner of my eye I can't perceive any flickering here but yes these I would say these are a direct replacement for a small compact fluorescent that would fit in a, in a ceiling light like this. Certainly if I get three of these I think that, that they would easily illuminate this room. So in my subjective real-world test both of these 36 LED small Edison screw lamps were slightly brighter than this 9 watt compact fluorescent which is designed to fit in the same thing. About the same size, a little bit longer but not a problem obviously narrower and both of them were quite comfortable light as far as I'm concerned. I think we might just try them in this clip-on lamp probably not quite so suitable really to this lamp because it does they do tend to protrude a little bit out of the end there but uh, but let's just see what they're like in there well I think as a, as a reading light or something like that I think that would be more than adequate it seems nicely bright to me obviously not the right fitting because I could, you catch the the bulb out of the corner of your eye and it would probably dazzle you it's a little bit too bright to actually look at directly so I'm going to leave that switched on I think for an hour and we'll see how warm that gets. Both of these lamps have been on for an hour now just really to give them a burn in test and see what happens let's have a feel. That one's quite warm I would say. I'm just going to switch that off and unscrew it and we'll see what, it, what the whole bulb feels like. I'll just move that one out of the way for the moment. Okay, um, Warm to the touch, not frighteningly warm. The screw thread is not warm actually which is a good sign. Yeah I'd say there's no no noticeable smell of burning or anything like that so that's probably just completely normal. Okay the other one this is the bayonet fitting lamp is actually quite hot to the touch. I certainly can't comfortably hold that. So let's just undo that and see what we've got. Yeah, that's Again, the actual bayonet fitting itself is is not hot. It's interesting that it's making a bit of a rattling sound actually, which I assume is normal, just maybe some sort of thermal expansion has, has taken place in there. Again, it doesn't smell like it's burning or anything like that, so I I'm going to assume that's normal for that. It is hot to the touch, but then an incandescent light bulb or, or, or a CFL um, would also be warm after an hour's use as well. So I don't think it's really fair to criticise it on that basis. I guess we'll just have to try these for a bit longer and see what they're like. So overall opinion on these new LED corn lamps. I was quite pleasantly surprised with their brightness. They seem to illuminate better than the equivalent wattage of CFL. In terms of colour I think I preferred the warm white better than the standard white. The standard white, although it was a bit more like daylight, was just a bit harsh and maybe a bit cool. The warm white was a bit more like incandescent light which we're all used to. So overall I think probably good products. I'd, I'd be happy to buy these and install them in my home. I think I'll give them a bit of a run in actually and see what kind of lifetime they've got and see if they if they lose any brightness over a few weeks or something like that. But as a first impression quite impressed with these products. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to see more of the same, why not click here to subscribe? Alternatively, click here to visit my channel. Or you could click here to visit the Atomic Shrimp website.